and what's going on it's your boy fontaine vip soundlab.com in this particular video i'm going to show you how you can export your midi and your audio to another daw in this particular situation we're going to use able to live if you were watching the last video this is where i left off so basically what happens is as you can see here inside the machine studio controller uh i was showing you guys how to uh go through the patterns and, and things of that nature so um right here was the midi notes from the last session we were adjusting uh, the length and things of that nature and showing you how you can get your grid set up. So one quick tip you might want to uh, notate is the navigate button here. Okay, this screen, when it jumps over here, keep in mind on the software side of things, you have a zoom icon here. As you can see right there, I'm adjusting the scene range up there. So if you're seeing it's a little crowded, that's basically how you can adjust that for fast navigation and zooming as well as scrolling. Uh, the zoom this this button here is for the pattern arranger in other words down below you see how you see how I'm zooming in in and out on that so if you need to get a, a better view of your uh, performance that's basically how you do that all right so let's go ahead and jump over to uh, Ableton live right quick or rather let's export this MIDI first let's go ahead and do that All right, so when you're exporting your MIDI, depending, you know, whatever you have going on in your pattern here, and we'll, we'll get into the audio in a minute. The MIDI works instantaneous, like, bam, it's like no progress bar on that. The audio will have like a little progress bar, um, you know, just to be clear on that. So your audio, you might have to wait for a little bit, just depending on how long uh, the loop is, but the MIDI notes, pss, no problem right away. So, um... If I was to hold, well, I'm on I'm on a PC right now, so a MacBook user, you would have to use your command key, but I'm using the control key, and I'm highlighting only, let's see, where's the other one at, right there. I'm only highlighting the MIDI notes that I want to bring over, you know. So if, you, if there's anything that you do not want to bring over, don't highlight it, okay? And it's as simple as that. You just highlight your MIDI notes. Now, of course, again, this is the pattern from the last video, so uh, the audio over there I'm not going to play because it wasn't lining up with the... Um, the kit that I had over there inside Ableton Live. You know, this is just for demonstrational purposes only. So, uh, let's bring this over like so. It's going to split these tracks individually, as you can see there. So, we'll just move these over like so. So, that's how that works. You know, and then it gets into, you know, if you want to copy these and you know, start start pacing in your clips because I know, you know, a lot of times producers, you do your mixing inside of uh, Ableton Live so you can get in there and get your clips in and things of that nature. And that's how that works as far as getting your, your MIDI notes over. And of course, you got to, you know, have the same instrument, you know, that you had before and line up these MIDI notes, you know, to make them play correctly. But in a nutshell, that's pretty much how that works. Um, let's go ahead and insert an audio track right quick. Here's an audio track. Now, Keep in mind that when you're doing audio, it's going to be whatever you have inside this particular um, pattern that you have here. So I just want you to be aware of that. So we just pay for this to just uh, do its job there. And then there's the audio. See so if we can get a better view on that for you guys. Let's, uh, I think I can drop this here as I thought I could. Let's make this a little bit bigger, make that a little bit bigger. But anyway, there you go. You get the idea. Everything's tracked out, you know, and then you, you know, you can turn this particular channel off, you know, if you want to do any editing. And of course, you always can, you know, bounce your MIDI notes back to audio anyway. But for whatever reason, if you were doing your entire mix and you want to bounce it down, you know, that's how you would do it in uh, Ableton Live anyway. So that's pretty much it on this one. Fast, quick, right to the point. That's how you extract your MIDI and audio from Machine 2.0 into your DAW. In this particular situation, I'm using Ableton Live 9 Suite. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up. It's your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We have a VIP membership. It's only $9.99 with no monthly fees. We give away free monthly drum kits as well as free control editor templates, things of that nature. And we do not charge no monthly fees. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Need weapons for your lab? Get industry standard professional drum libraries, free machine tutorials, machine expansions, and more. And more. Keep it locked to.
www.zipsoundlab.com.